What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. This one, I'm super excited to be checking out this product from Hard Park Crawlers. I've been waiting on these for a while. Ever since I went to Beat the Creek, I talked to Chad and he mentioned coming out with these and I just really think it's a great idea. This is something that's used in larger scale crawling and bringing it down to the 24s is just perfect, okay? Now, these are made to work with the Samix brass steering knuckles. So these are some pricey little knuckles. These are like 30 bucks for these right here. And they normally you can get them with a brake disc, which is like another $12 or something. So you get that scale look. They have the brake disc that bolts on. So what they've done with hard part crawlers here is they took and made these little weight hangers. So these have like some tungsten balls in them or something, I believe, that have some hefty weight to them. And then you're just gonna put a screw straight in here and bolt this up. So this is really cool because you're able to add weight, but you don't have it rotating. So it's not near as hard on your motor. It's not as unpredictable, you know, as the tires are spinning and bouncing. This is, it kind of stays where it is supposed to be down low. So really cool idea, sweet design. It didn't come with any screws, so if you buy these like I did, without the brake disc, you're gonna need a screw to screw it in there. I imagine this is just a regular screw from an SEX24, so that shouldn't be any issue. I'm gonna show you guys how we bolt these up. I'm gonna show you the weight of these because I'm not gonna be installing these right now. We all kinda know, we know what weight does for our rigs, and we need it for tuning and that sort of thing. So this thing's nine grams by itself. You add this in, 14 and a half, so 14.3, whatever. So that thing weighs about 5.3 grams. So it's a just a great tuning option, and it's not like adding rotational weight. You know, everybody knows that's harder on everything. Drivetrain, motor, that's why we're breaking axles all the time, and that's not the right screw, so. Um, I wish one of these had came with the screw you need. <laughs> so we're going to have to find the screw that works. We have plenty of screw kits around here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so for a minute I was struggling to get a screw to fit this because I used one of the stock black ones off of the SCX24. And you'll see it just like slides in there. <laughs> so... I ended up grabbing one of these out of the Enjora kit, which I'll link in the description. If you don't have this, just get one because you're gonna use it building these things. And it fits perfect. So it's just a matter of those stock screws are pretty much junk and you just need a good screw for it. So thankfully that's all we need. So stick this thing up here, bolt it up. You don't want to tighten that down too much. This is like a 3D printed piece, I believe. So we don't want to crank down on that because you will crack it, that is for sure. But you can see that is pretty slick. Now, I would assume that you're gonna to have to watch what wheels you're trying to use these with because they're not gonna work with everything. I know they work with the hard park wheels obviously and they made sure of that but besides that try at your own risk <laughs> basically because you're going to need a little clearance in there all right so here is a stock axle shaft through this and fits pretty well so that hex is going to be back just like that so Something like, ooh, even these RC four-wheel drives just almost fit. I think we're gonna get a little rubbing there. So I don't know that I would recommend running these. If you're running them deep dish, obviously, you're gonna clear. 
So we're clearing with the deep dish style like that. If you ran a wider hex, Samix makes a like plus four hex as well, I believe. You could definitely get away with that. They fit all oh, beautiful inside the trills. Look at that. Perfect. And it's not, not rubbing at all. Super smooth. That's nice. So I feel like it's gonna fit most of the trills. They're pretty much kind of all the same. This is basically an Enjora style wheel. These have a lot of problems fitting any sort of weights and we're just not even gonna get this on there. So just know that pick your wheel wisely. Honestly, just order up some hard park wheels while you're at it. Uh, these things right here are sweet. You can run them deep dish or you can flip them and run them regular. And on their site, it says they work with these for sure. So I'm sure they do. Love these wheels. But you can see with the stock setup, it's going to work great. Great way to add a little bit of weight. I'm going to run these with the Deluxe Fab CVD here so we can get all that turning. So whenever I start this next build with the SCX24 stuff, we will definitely be installing these. So I just wanted to show you guys these really great way to add the weight without adding it to the rotational mass and just killing drive shafts and gears and everything. You know, we're always popping drive shafts and stuff. It's because we're adding weight really where we shouldn't. Uh, but with these trucks, we don't have a whole lot of options. So this right here is just a great way to put the weight where you want it, how you want it, and pretty clean install. Really like this idea. So just wanted to show these off to you guys. I think they're sold out right now, but keep an eye on the site. Maybe you can get these. I'll link these uh, steering knuckles in the description as well, because if you go with these, you're gonna need these. Uh, as far as I know, these are the only ones that have bolt holes on them for basically a brake disc is what you can get with these. But you guys let me know what you think. Really cool idea, super sweet product. So um, hopefully this holds up being just kind of a 3D printed piece. Always scares me, but I am sure that they have tested these to the max. So hopefully no issues there. All right, guys, so stay tuned. We got a lot coming up. I've got new chassis coming for the FCX, my own personal colorway. So we're going to get started on that build. And then we are going to be doing a SCX24 build. So back to all SCX24, I think, for that one. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So you guys, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell so you get notified. I appreciate everybody. Peace.